Hey guys, this is Mr. Goy. Uh, hey, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this uh, project that we're doing. Um, this is called the Falling Weight Vehicle. And I, a couple of years ago, I guess, or so maybe a year ago, I kind of had this idea about trying to power a little vehicle with falling weight. Falling weight then has the gravitational potential energy. What I have then is this cup. I've got some of these blue weights in here, these masses. Each of these are 20 grams. And my idea was to have the weight fall and the weights then are connected. These, this cup is connected then to a string and a loop. And then we could basically then, as the weights fall, the string then, we would create then these windings kind of on, um, on the back axle and we could get the car then to move forward because of the falling weight. Consequently, we have just kind of like our mousetrap car, we have then the, co the idea that types of energy can be transformed. So we have this gravitational potential energy falling weight being transferred or, or uh, converted at least partially into kinetic energy of the moving vehicle. So that was my kind of idea here on this sort of project. Now when I first built this, I built this kind of at home. And I went out to Hobby Lobby and I got these kind of these rectangular wood dowels and I ended up using I think five of them. Um, one to support the falling weight and I've got this kind of wood dowel here and I've got this wood dowel kind of attached through these eye bolts and consequently it kind of acts kind of like a pulley. And I had to create these piers here these couple high piers because I needed some space and for the weight to fall. Um, then I used a couple more of these rectangular wood dowels then as kind of the base and to put these together then I took another one of these and I cut these into segments and that forms kind of like this little ladder that I then screwed on now, I'm not sure we have to go through all that really. I, that was just the materials I had at home. I think you could probably do something with our paint sticks where you could create kind of a base and then maybe cut another paint stick and form your ladder that way. We've got a couple of different types of paint sticks that I think you should be able to use. We do have some of these rectangular dowels and it's possible that you could combine then all of this material. Now, for the wheels then, I ended up using, I ended up then taking eye bolts and I made then a way for the axles to kind of fit through there along the eye bolts. I've got this front axle and then I have the rear axle. Again, this one has, is through eye bolts also. But what I've done here then is to make things a little easier to wind up, I've got this spool here and a nail in the spool. And then I can take the loop of that string and wind it around. I'll show you how to do that shortly. I am using CDs for wheels uh, because there's not a lot of friction there. It doesn't mean you can't use other types of wheels I've got stoppers in here too. In fact, one of the problems with CDs is, you know, I don't have them hot glued in or anything. So they kind of want to fall off and that's kind of a problem. But so here's kind of the idea here then is, you know, I'm going to kind of put the masses in the cup here and I've used different weights before. When I first built this vehicle, I attached some washers to the string and I had these four or so big washers that I used for weight. In this case, you know, I don't have a lot of those washers, so I thought maybe you could use then the different masses and put them in a cup. And so let me kind of show you a little bit about winding the car now and I'll try to get it towards the camera. Let me make sure that you can kind of see that in the in the field of view there. So 
I don't want to kind of get in the way, so it might be kind of hard for me to do this and film it. And uh, so I've got then a, a small little loop in this part of the string. And again, we want to measure, we basically want to measure a string. Oh, I guess mine's about a meter long or so. We went, basically want to take the weights up here and then just wind that string around that back axle in the opposite direction we want the car to move. So, so I've got it attached now to that little nail and I'm just going to rotate. I'm going to lift up those back wheels and rotate. And it's kind of hard to see, but you can see now the cup lifting. Why well, I'm putting energy then in to the masses. So I'm giving the masses then gravitational potential energy. The spool here makes it pretty easy to kind of wind this up. I think it's a little bit easier than the mousetrap car. And it looks like I've got the cup about the highest it'll go here. So the energy then the energy then is trapped in the potential energy of those weights. I've got about 60 grams in there, or 0.06 kilograms. So to find this energy here, it would be the mass, M, times G, 9.8, times then the height that it's going to fall, and it's going to fall this far. And that then at least partially gets transferred into uh, kinetic energy. Now, I've got other videos of this thing moving. It's on the media side. I just kind of wanted to show you the basics of building this in a short video and then winding it up. So if I let this go, it's going to start moving. And it should then move pretty nicely without much friction. And hopefully we'll do an activity then. Once you get yours built, we can then determine maybe the efficiency of this sort of vehicle. All right, we'll talk to you later, kids. Bye.